Was that it? Cool. So that was the end of the arm cycle. Switch. Simple and easy. How you do? Peel the bands off. Disconnect them. Pop that off. Pop that off like that. Put those there. Get your leg bands. You try to go as quick as we can here, guys. Quick as we can. So we got the left leg band. Stop my watch there. Keep track. So when I'm putting this on my leg, I'm gonna throw that leg out in front a little bit, take some weight off of it. I'm gonna slide that band all the way up into my groin. Put one to the other, pull up, out, down, line that up nice and smooth. Take the other one, line it up underneath your thigh. Stick it, there's one leg. All right, leg number two. All right, my calves are catching their breath, guys. All right, we got the right leg on. Unstrap it. I'm gonna lace it up under, through my leg, load my left leg, unload my right leg, slide the strap all the way up into that groin. Make sure everything's comfortable, loose, pull it tight, line it up, make sure it's nice even fit, line it up in there, strap it on, hit your watch, oh, gotta turn it, so we're still in pro, pro high baby, let's do this, okay, got my watch, alright, now I gotta sweat, okay, we're back to home base, right, so just light hopping, you can throw those arms back in there if you want, that's cool, just side to side. So tap, 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 tap. Go into a single leg. So two to three single leg hops and push, push, tap, tap, push, tap, tap, push, tap, push, tap, push, land, push, land, push, land, push. When you're doing those, you really want to push off the inside of your foot. Remember that triangle from your big toes up to your pubic bone. That's your change of direction. That speed triangle. Side to side, lateral movement, rotational movement. That's where everything starts in that triangle. So really trying to teach your feet to push off the inside. And then as you get better, I'll teach you how to push off the outside of your feet. That's a little harder. That's advanced. So we're still just jumping. Jumping rope, right? Jumping rope. Simple as that. Knees up, toes up. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Ah, ah, ah. Throw a few power hops in there. Wiggle your legs out. Shake them out. Keep moving, okay? Keep moving. Even if you're not clearing the ground with your feet, just keep pumping those calves. Keep pumping those calves. Pumping those calves. Little rotations, yeah, good. Do a few of those. There we go, good, mix it up. Let's do some running man. Hey, okay. like little jump lunges. These are tough. Go forward, and then gradually, a little side to side motion. Remember, pushing off the inside of that front leg, push. Those are hard, those are burning. Legs are getting tired. Where are we at? We're only at number three. Okay, time's fine. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, let's do some single leg stuff. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, left. Three, four, five, right. Two, three, four, five, left. Three, four, five, right. Two, three, four, five, left. Swing that leg and push. Swing, 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 push, swing. So these single legs are a little bit more advanced, but once your legs, your knees, your ankles, your hips, your toes, once those can all sort of take that load, that pressure, then you'll see this is a great way to really get a great workout in a little amount of time. Okay, now we're going to do two legs side to side, so both legs. Keep them together. Think about a line underneath your feet. Looking down, looking up at the horizon, looking sideways. Change it up. Mix it up. 
I'm out of breath. We're only on one. Cycle four. All right, I'm sweating. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Back to the hop. Back to the hop. Back to the hop. All right, I'm going to do 10 power ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. See? My hand caught the tube, pulled it right off my belt. Safety mechanisms in place, okay? So if it falls off, it's kind of like a bungee cord. But again, just be aware of what's going on. Sometimes I'll put the katsu on my back, or you can also do this if you're trying to stall and catch your breath. <laughs> okay, big calves, right? Everybody wants big old calves. Calves are genetic, either I'm or you don't. And I got big old calves, but that doesn't mean they don't want to get worked. Holding the cycle here, just kind of peace of mind. You can move those arms, go back to the jump rope. Okay, good. We're almost there. Almost there. So I'm going to go back to like a stagger step. Almost like I'm running, but I'm going more vertical than horizontal. Vertical power. Vertical power. A little side to side. I like to shuffle around too, like I'm shuffling around the ring. So a few shuffle, sh sh shuffle shaps, a few shuffle steps off the inside of one, inside of the other. Shuffle around. If you want to go in a little circle, that's cool. Alternate sides, that's cool. How much space you got, you can do this in a box. I'm running out of gas. Woo. Cycle six. So your legs are burning, calves are burning, shins are burning. There's some squats in there. Eight, four, six little heel raise. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't let the calves have all the fun. But we're here to jump rope. So keep going. Calves are burning. Really focus in on pushing with my ankles, strong feet. Let your toes kind of roll around when you land, but you really want to push off with a rigid foot, rigid big toe, rigid lever, power, right on off the ground. So try to spend as little much of the time on the ground as possible. So I like her hot sand, hot sand, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Whew. That's a good one, run in place, that's fine, run in place. Ah, ah, ah. Almost, uh, ah. A little hop, hop. This is probably my most comfortable position. Ah, ah, ah. Lay in, push, lay, push, lay, push, lay, in, push. Okay. We are on cycle number eight. You can keep going. You keep doing this as long as your bike you can take it. But what I'm gonna do. I got one of my PVC pipes here. This is my swing trainer. Just do some help heel raises here at the end. Okay? Look at these big old beautiful calves of mine. Just nice and smooth. Go up and up. Right now, my calves are gassed. I don't have a whole lot. Locking those knees out. Trying to raise those heels up. Wiggle them around a little bit. Oh, man, I haven't even finished this cycle yet. My calves are burning. So there's some squatting in there. Squat, heel raise. Squat, heel raise. So give some loves to my thighs and hips. And again, you wanna keep going? Keep going. You'll be ready to fight in no time. That was just enough rest to get my calves a little break to let them recharge. All right, everybody. That was my Quick and, quick and easy, down and dirty, jump rope in the garage. So no jump rope, no problem. Put your cat suit on, throw it on your arms, get a warm up going, throw it on your legs, you're sweating. Great workout. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, statements, look me up, Dr. Corey Kern. Have a nice day, guys.